Welcome everyone back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now in the last episode, we did some bounty hunting with one guy, see what that's about. And some free roam missions and then we helped John with the train. And thank you for, I just want to say thank you for clicking on the video. And hope you enjoy and yeah, let's get into it. And we're back. Now, like I said in the last episode, we helped John rob a train. And he still has one thing for us to do right now. You're a brave girl. Now, before I do that, I'm just gonna go around town, maybe around the map and see if there's anything to do before we do that yeah, let's see Charles wants to do something what you go hunting Placed of gifts, inverted stagecoach no, you simple man of fool bison bison? bison, in which you can get anything no, a bison? on the plains, I believe I saw a couple a long way off oh. right? You look. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Yeah, why not? Mount up then. Let's go. Okay, my girl. Hey, Mr. Pearson, how are you doing? You know, it was before my time, of course, but. That was before your time. Over so there. You see them all? Yeah, I see them. Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Sure. Clean as you can. Okay. Hey, look at the deers. Oh, we're doing it like that. Come on, get back on, get. Yep. Ah. Don't aim for the box. That one. He asked for one. I'm only going to shoot one. Thank you. Man, I'm precise with this. Good job. Stole that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. What do I wanna go check Bird. out? Oh, I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Go. Okay, show the boy. What? Oh, look, oh. bison shot and left for dead. It looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know, but I see tracks heading in this direction. Maybe they're I just bored. Go. All right, lead the way. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your Charles? Problem? Calm down. Did you fools shoot those bison? You calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. What did, what did you just did say? Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? Uh, it's that business of mine. Good God, Charles, calm down. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I 
I don't know what you're talking about. Just answer the question. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please, don't kill me. All right, <sighs> get out of here. I just, just, just get out so I can do it. Me, mister. I got a family. And run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now. What What's happening up here? Okay. The name's William. Hi, William. I'm. This is Arthur. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I use. Well, let me tell you. And I'm just a killer. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs, but we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants. All across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder. If I'm good at bounties, but I don't think I'm good with nature bounty. I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge. Yeah, maybe. Kindness. Beauty. Well, I'm ignorant. Ugly. Nasty. Well, let's see if maybe we can do I won't say about ugly. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish yarrow. it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Here's your herbs. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. Cool. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. What's this? Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. Sure. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. I see there's something here as well. Oh, someone's here. Did the university send you? The Excuse what? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Want to elaborate? What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those Do I look like a spy? Anything to destroy me. My theories are correct and leading amateur paleontologist in the nation and not one university will hire me because unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> <laughs> you're a what? bird. You know, big lizards. Oh, that's what of she said. they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere... Everywhere. I don't see them. <laughs> this state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. And what I was that? Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, Is that I'm a real dinosaur? The I don't know. Is Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or sure do. Mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. 
And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, too. Interesting. Okay, I'm back at the camp. I can give these things on my horse to Pearson. Maybe he can make some good soup again. Sorry, Bill. I forgot. Wait right there. I still want the ho the skin on the back. The others I'm gonna sell. Got some skins from hunting a little bit. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, I just don't. You're singing something. Okay, I think it's time for us to do John's mission. I was just thinking about that Cornwall train. You did good there. You nearly didn't make it. Hey, the morning rest. Hi, Lenny. You awake? What do you need, Arthur? Sorry. Mr. Uh. Tempted. I need to sleep, <laughs> Arthur. Then go to sleep. Okay, where's John? Ah, oh, here's John. So is he. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? You got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Yeah, kind of. Come along. You see, that train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'll be right back. So, John, what do you want? Gun store. Now, why are we going here? Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Fine. Hello, how can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sidearm. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Mm, if you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. There's the rolling brock rifle. And that's all I can get. And it's free. Nice. But everything. Got enough ammo now as well. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Good. Sure. Let's go. So where are we going? Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. Yeah, you if should you be. Say the boy ain't yours. What's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? 
Just do one thing or another. Well, not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze. There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. All right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. So what are we doing up here now? Okay, I think that's them over there. What now? I Shot see them. Near them. I reckon they'll hightail. They're only ranch hands. Just watch them. Near them, sure. It looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. That ought to do it. Yeah, he's running. And the sheep are running as well. Alright, let's go round him up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Yeah! Move it up! Sheep to me. You ride Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Up, up. Go, go.
Come on, get in there. Close her up, boys. There we go. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Uh, you seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me a 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure, I'll excuse you for 25%. You want me to put another in your head? Folks swing for rustle and livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. We're paid. Go on now. Yeah, kind of. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Okay, when's the auction? Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? I want to shoot him so bad right now. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. 18. So what are we doing to rob him here? Still getting money. They're legally robbing us. Thanks for all. Kids no more. Yeah, we'll start acting like them. It really was. Let's see what Dutch wants. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Please do. Strauss is here. Absolute, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, me both. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay. Um, a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Sure. Yeah. Then I'll right? just stay here with you. Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, he's an Austrian. Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. To my good health. Vanderlyn! And something's happening. Who's that? You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, we robbed this train in the beginning. To be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here. Oh, they have Charles and John. Let's get Charles. Let's get Charles killed. Start spinning a yarn, and I think the moment's you right. I'll make a move. Why not? Why not? 
Now I think your time's done. Deal with this nonsense. And we just let it go. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Got him. I seen a gun here. Just watch it. I'll make a run for it. Push up. Stay with me. I'm just gonna put my mask on. Go, come on. Where are you going? That's right at them. We don't know, Mr. Travis. Go, go. That wagon, Arthur, shoot, stop. Oh, shut up, I am. Get behind the wagon as we push, Arthur. You can use it as cover. There's a lot of guys. I won't kill these bastards like I've been doing this entire time. Relax, I'm not that far. Quiet, as long as you cover me. And you're old. I'll cover you guys. Push up on him. Alright. I better get out of here. Okay. Well then. On that note of killing this all of those people. I think that's the I'm a slouching. I think that'll be the end of today's video. That's all the time we have today. Um, thank you for everyone who made it this far and please like and subscribe so I know you guys enjoyed these videos and so I can keep making these videos and it will be very much appreciated thank you and hope to see you in the next one goodbye <music>